Hello YouTube, this 14 year old boy raped and murdered his teacher. So let's get started. Kalian Ritzer was born on May 13, 1989 in Lawrence in the Massachusetts and grew up in Hanover. She was a beautiful person, she was smiling, and she knew how to socialize with everyone. She has a loving, close-knit family who support her in everything she does. Ever since she was a little girl, she wanted to be a teacher, and her studies were always geared towards this goal. After her studies, she worked in a secondary school in the same region. In 2011, she got a job at Denver's high school as a mathematics teacher. She loved her job and did everything she could to help her pupils. She even gave lessons at weekends for those who couldn't keep up in class. As well as being appreciated by her students, her colleagues found her adorable. The Disappearance on one day in 2013, she would go to the school to help pupils in difficulty. That's the last we've heard of her last alive. At the end of the day, she still hasn't got home and her parents were getting worried. Colleen has a habit of telling her parents when she has a sudden change of plans. Her father Tom decided to go to school. He looked everywhere for her and asked everyone he met, but couldn't find her. He contacted Colleen's friends to ask if they had any news about her, but to no avail. Her father then contacted the police about the disappearance. On the same day, a 14-year-old boy also disappeared, and his mother is also looking for him. He was supposed to be home after football training, but his coach told his mother he was absent. Philip Schism is a quiet boy who doesn't talk much and doesn't have many friends, but he's very helpful and kind to his few friends. He has just moved to Denver because of his parents' divorce, and he didn't really like the town because it was hard for him to fit in. Very worried about his disappearance, his mother contacted the police. The research The police immediately began the search. Two individuals have disappeared in the same day, apparently spending the morning in the same establishment. But the police's priority was to find Philip, who is still a minor. The investigators found that Philip was one of the pupils in difficulty to whom Colleen had been given lesson. They then looked at the images from the school's CCTV cameras and found Philip and Colleen, but they did not know what happened after they appeared. After much searching, they traced Philip's phone to a nearby cinema. The police questioned the cashiers of the cinema and they confirmed that Philip had been at the cinema, but Philip disappeared off the radar afterwards. The investigators decided to search in the school. In the girls' toilets, they found what appears to be blood. They then began to search the areas surrounding the school. The school is surrounded by trees. The police continued their search and Colin's lifeless body was found a hundred meters from the school. Her body showed immediately that she has been murdered, her neck has been cut with a sharp object and she has been raped. Philip was then found and the police searched his bag. They found Colin's identity card and driving license, as well as a box cutter covered in blood. When questioned, he replied only that the blood belonged to the girl. What happened? With the help of CCTV footage, the police finally knew what happened. When school was out, Colin went to the toilet and that's where Philip followed her. He raped her and then stabbed her. He put her in a bin, 
and dumped her in the woods near the school. Shortly afterwards, he returned to the school, changed into his sports clothes and left. He went to the cinema, then wandered around endlessly, and it was several hours later that the police found him. The trial Following tests, Philip was diagnosed as having violent tendencies. During the trial, Philip is tried as an adult because of the seriousness of his crime, but in the end, he pleads not guilty. It was only in 2016 that Philip was sentenced to 40 years in prison. On October 28, 2013, hundreds of diverse residents gathered to attend Colin Ritzer's funeral. The residents were shocked at what had happened and especially that it had been done to Colin, such a beautiful person. Um, she was energetic and compassionate. Um, you couldn't ask for anything more from a teacher or a friend. She cared about every single student and put in many hours after school every day, always thinking about how she could be better and better help students. She was truly a beautiful person. Was I, oh, shocked. I still think I'm in shock. I can't believe that anything could happen, never mind to someone as wonderful and young as her. And that's it. We talked about the student that killed brutally his teacher. If you like this story, don't forget to like, subscribe, and press the notification bell to receive other terrifying stories. Until next time.